Welcome again students in the class of language. We are understanding prepositions. In the last class we understood the definition and uh, the kinds of prepositions. In this class we will further understand uh, the other parts of the preposition particularly how prepositions are categorized as per their formation as per their formation and we will also understand which type of words can be used for the object of the preposition because a preposition needs an object so let us understand which type of words can be used for the object of the prepositions words that can be words that can be the objects of prepositions firstly noun pronoun as we understood in the last class noun and pronoun can be used as the objects of the preposition and these are generally used but apart from noun and pronoun some other words some other expressions can also be used for objects of the preposition for example apart from noun pronoun noun phrase noun class and uh, even gerunds which are which we uh, call verbal nouns these can also be used and gerunds also be the gerunds also be the objects of the preposition let us understand how he came after me he came after me here after is preposition and me is pronoun he kept me he kept me waiting here waiting is gerund waiting is gerund you wait here till you wait here till i come till i come till is preposition and i come this is a class you will remain my friend for a long time you will remain my friend for a long time so for a long time this is a noun phrase noun phrase i come this is a class let us understand some more examples 
he is he is afraid of public's opinion he is afraid of public's opinion so here public's opinion this is a noun phrase noun phrase that is the object of the preposition he is afraid of the opinion the opinion of the public he is afraid of the opinion the opinion of the public this is the noun clause now in the next part an adverb of place and an adverb of time can also be the object of the preposition an adverb of place and an adverb of time an adverb of place and an adverb of an adverb of place and an adverb of time can also be the objects of the preposition example from here his house is 1 km away from here his house is 1 km away we have we have not met since then we have not met this is example 1 and this is example 2 in the first example you can see from here here is the adverb of place this is the adverb of place and since then this is the adverb of time so we can see how an object can be an adverb of place as well as an adverb of time also all right an adverbial phrase can also be the object of a preposition let us understand how adverbial phrase means a group of words that work like an adjective he met me from across the road he met me from across the road this is the adverbial this is the adverbial phrase of course this is the preposition now when a relative pronoun is the object of the preposition it is often omitted how when a relative pronoun is when a relative pronoun is the object of the preposition is the object of the preposition it is omitted this is the book uh, yes as i told right now you may need further upload uh, and if you want to see which 
यू आर लुकिंग फॉर सो हियर यू कैन सी दिस इज द बुक विच दिस इज एक्चुअली ओमिटेड दिस पार्ट इज ओमिटेड दिस इज द बुक you were looking for actually this is the sentence this is the book you were looking for so what is omitted here which which is the relative pronoun 